is Astrid and I work for I'm Free Walking Tours here in Melbourne and we also run tours up in Sydney as well. Uh, but whilst we can't be touring our city at the moment due to the current COVID-19 restrictions, we did want to take you guys on some mini tours around our suburbs. Uh, but for today we are going to explore Caulfield, so come with me on this journey. Uh, Caulfield is a suburb about 25 minutes train ride to the southeast of Melbourne CBD. Uh, these days it is known for things like Monash University, which is where I go to uni, and also the Caulfield Race Course, which I'll show you a little bit later on. Before we continue, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, which this video takes place on today, uh, who are the Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation. Areas like Caulfield Park, which used to be swampland, were frequented by the Yalakut Wheelan people, but they tended to stick to the coastal areas to the south of Caulfield, from St Kilda all the way down to Williamstown, where they used to hunt for seafood. Caulfield as a European settlement also began here at Caulfield Park except back in the mid-19th century it was known as Paddy Swamp. Paddy Swamp was a watering place for livestock travelling from Melbourne down to Gippsland. In 1853 the Crown reserved this land for recreation and later it became Caulfield Racecourse. Uh, so inside the race course you'll notice there are heaps of beautiful grandstands uh, but these burnt down twice. Once in 1922 the grandstand caught fire at four in the morning. It was quite mysterious and it was believed that Squizzy Taylor, a Melbourne gangster, was responsible for this fire but police were never able to prove it. Uh, it was again burnt down in 1927 uh, because there was like an incident with a cigarette butt uh, and that is why we have all of these photos of the grandstand burning down so you can kind of imagine what it would look like. Uh, in the early days here they would race through the bush and through the swamplands and through the sandy hills and the heath and that's why this area was affectionately nicknamed the heath. Uh, these days Caulfield Racecourse is where quite a lot of spring racing events are held uh, including the Caulfield Cup which is one of the bigger races that are here in Melbourne. Now it's time to visit one of Melbourne's most impressive Victorian era mansions, Labassa. This 35 bedroom house was designed by architect John Augustus Bernard Koch. It was built for a millionaire called Alexander Robertson in 1862. In the 1920s this mansion was the home to many of Melbourne's elites, uh, including Hollywood's very first Australian silent film actor. Uh, then it was turned into apartments after the 1920s and in the 70s and 60s it was frequented by artists, writers, uh, musicians and lots of creative people and it became a bit of a bohemian haven right in the heart of the suburbs. In non-coronavirus times, Labasa is open for tours by the National Trust every third Sunday. Caulfield in particular has a huge Jewish population. In fact, according to the 2016 census, 41% of the population of Caulfield was Jewish. A lot of people migrating here after the Second World War. Behind me is by far one of my favourite things about Caulfield, the Grand Union Tramway Junction. Uh, this is the only junction uh, for trams in the whole of Australia where trams can go in four different directions. Uh, it was built in 1913 and at the time it was considered a very impressive piece of engineering. Uh, it's not as impressive these days because the tram driver still has to get out uh, to manually change the tracks each time they stop. Three other Grand Union Tramway junctions have existed in Australia. They were all over in Adelaide and they have since been removed. Well, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for coming on this little adventure through my suburb. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to see any more of these suburb videos, you can head over to the I'm Free Tours YouTube page or look us up on Facebook and Instagram. If you'd like to see a suburb from Sydney today, you can also head over to I'm Free Sydney. Thanks for watching. See you next time.